Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can estimate your project licensing cost in Power Platforms for your project requirement. As we all know, there are multiple licenses has been offered by Microsoft for Power Platforms like per user plans, per app plans, pay as you go model. There is different model that we have and sometimes it is difficult to choose a right one for your project need. So I have created a requirement scenario wherein uh, we think we have 500 user base who will be using the application and the power apps will be either canvas or model driven applications. Data source we have chosen Dataverse as we have uh, custom security needs uh, like row level and field level security that are required and uh, scalability is there. Power automates for sending email notifications, approval, sometimes data updates as well. So based on this requirement, the license which I have chosen is Power Apps Premium per user and the total cost that we will have to bear is around 1 lakh 20 thousands per year for these 500 users. So this cost is occurred because we are using Dataverse and Dataverse is a premium feature in Microsoft in Power Platform. If you are using SharePoint instead of Dataverse, then if your organization has default Office 365 license, then that license should be enough. But in our case, we are using Dataverse and for that we need a premium license and this is the license which I have chosen. So if we go to the detail of this license, we'll talk about different aspect which will give you the idea that how you can also estimate, uh, you know, different aspects of your project and choose a right plans for your business users. So if we go to the uh, official uh, Power Platform licensing guide, you will see uh, that we have this Power Apps Premium and uh, the recommended one that we have is Power Apps Premiums. This is $20 per user per month. But if you have more than 2000 users, it will cost you around $12 per user per month. Okay. And also uh, this cost can be lesser if you are buying uh, if you are buying as a corporate from Microsoft. So we'll talk about a different feature that we get into this one. <clears throat> so for power apps, we get run custom apps that is unlimited a run workflow within the custom app. Here they have mentions within the app context. So what is the app context? So if we go to little uh, this number here, that's a two. So it says power automate use rights included and what are power automate use rights. So it is basically power automate capabilities are included in power apps license. So we can go into the sections. What we get here is create and execute automated scheduled and button flows, access standard connectors, access premium connector, business process flow, custom connector on premise gateways, Power Platform request limit, you get uh, 40,000 requests per day that can go up to 1 lakh, but that is transition period. That means you have limit of 40,000, but that is not strictly, uh, you know, followed. You can extend this to 1 lakh, but you will have to decide sooner that what is, you know, your actual usages and based on that, you have to choose a right plan for yourself. If we go here in Dataverse, you get full Dataverse access, create and access custom tables, Dataverse database capacity and file capacity. So this database capacity, you get 250 MB per user. And if you go to this little six number here, what this says is Dataverse database and database file capacity entitlement occur at the tenant level. Okay. So what does this mean? It means is whatever the database capacity you get, it is at the tenant level. So that means it is pooled at the tenant level. So let's suppose in your tenant, if you have, uh, let's suppose three environment, your dev, UAT and production environment. So you can utilize this 250 MB at any, uh, you know, environment. So it is not restricted to one environment as such. So it is pooled at the tenant level. So if you consume, let's suppose, you know, 100 MB at one environment, 100 at another and 50 
at the another one so you will uh, be able to use it like that and another important things to add here is whenever you purchase any premium license means a power apps premium license by default you get 10 gb of database capacity at tenant level one time okay so let's suppose uh, you you know buy a first power apps premium license you will get 10 gb database capacity at tenant level that is also pooled and uh, then the number of licenses multiplied by 250 mb so let's suppose you are buying two license 2 into 250 is your 500 and plus 10 gb oh, like that you can calculate okay and a managed environment you get managed environment as well so this is the power apps premium overall license that you get also if you see in the right hand side section there is select microsoft 365 and office 365 license so as i mentioned to you that if your organizations have a standard office 365 license that means uh, that is used for outlook teams you know your projects task planner anything that you are using as a microsoft product generally you get this uh, microsoft 365 or office 365 license which include your uh, power apps license wherein you can create and use unlimited power apps can run workflow within the app context okay but there is no power pages websites uh, access is there and you can use standard connectors but you are not allowed to use any premium connectors okay you get data was put teams capacity not the standard so here into this power apps premium we get the standard dataverse uh, capacity that is full dataverse access and in the office 365 license we get dataverse for teams only okay not the standard one and uh, rest of the things like uh, dataverse related we don't get it here okay so this is the major difference between this uh, office 365 license and the power apps premium license you can also opt for power automate premium if you need functionality like rpa functionality which requires separate uh, power automate premium license so it is kind of similar in power automate premium as well if i just walk you through the power automate premium you get kind of uh, desktop rpa right uh, uh, there but apart from that you get uh, you know your 250 MB database uh, capacity in dataverse and file capacity as well AI builder credits you get and power automate process minings you get as well 50 MB and power automate so if you are buying power automate premium it is uh, more toward the automations using your RPA your process mining your AI builder so it is more suitable for that one if we go with dataverse as a data source it will obviously occur with some cost that is this one uh, instead of this if you want to sharepoint and uh, your organization has a default office 365 license you can go for that as well but considering that your business users doesn't have a complex uh, security needs and they do not have huge data wherein they have to perform back and forth you know crude operations so you have to think uh, from all these aspects and then decide what is the best license for your business case i hope this video is uh, clear to you in case you have any suggestions you know any things that i missed put your thought in comment section because licensing is uh, a little complex part in microsoft and uh, any inputs that you can uh, give will be best so thank you so much have a good day and uh, keep watching learn and tech